hello guys welcome back to the channel and today we are going to work on the castle fight or guild fight uh, kind of thing uh, before we do that we need to go and do some changes in our uh, database we need to add one more thing to our database and that is uh, let let this just get loaded first uh, we need to add another table over here that will be like server or something like that so let's just uh, uh let's just say that server info or something like that okay uh and uh, we are going to add over here most of the basic things that we are going to need for server okay and uh, here i'm gonna go and say castle fight okay and we will make it text and we'll do it as a save okay if i click over here all right now we got the server castle fight we are going to go and insert a castle fight as a either we can say start and end or either we can say uh, like uh, is it empty and if it is not empty then do something something like that uh, that will be like super simple to handle but yeah okay so we will say here that uh, start a castle fight as a start and uh, if it is not start it should be like empty or something like that okay uh, and uh, you can actually if you are using this as an admin because this will be like kind of online game uh, we can do that automatic uh, later on but for now you can actually make here one uh, event which is not into the client game and this event will do update query to update the start or end something like that okay that is super simple to do or otherwise you can directly handle the database okay so uh, this is the guy uh, who will display us the time and something like that uh, let me just uh, copy him uh, let's keep him in the side and we'll get the copy and here i will say you know like cancel here i will say guild fight or you can say castle fight and uh, here i will say teleport to castle okay we will say this in the middle or uh, this law okay something like that and uh, we don't need this over here uh, let me delete those okay okay uh, let's change the something else so it will be not like me not gonna show us something similar okay All right. so what is the today today is the friday okay uh let's say if you are going to make the castle fight on sundays or in particular time uh, you can just give it on your discord channel or something like that on your website or something in your game website but that on Sundays we are having the castle fight for half an hour and then you go and fight with the 10 monsters and uh, once you've done that uh, you will you will be like uh, gaining the castle and once you got the castle yep that kind of thing we need do we need this server info over here or we can just use the guild directly So we don't have to go and check out on the two of those information. Okay, uh, we'll see that, we'll see that. Okay, so first thing, uh, whenever a person come over here, uh, and he will uh, ask uh, about that uh, to start the castle fight we need to go and do some checking first that is 
dusty sky is inside of the guild or not so for that we already know that guild info if it is in the guild uh, we will get that he is in the guild in 76 and if it is empty uh, okay so this is the different one uh, let's go and make over here check before castle fight okay and we are going to say uh, this one okay let's just copy paste that and we are going to delete uh, some of the stuff that we don't need so if it is empty uh, we will say uh, here we will show the message over here you cannot join the castle fight since you are not in the guild so let me go and grab any message from somewhere okay so as you know we uh, we are checking into the accounts here uh, and then we are checking the name of the user and then we are getting his value into 76 as a guild name uh, if that guild name is empty we are going to say you know what uh, common event I delete we're going to say uh, you know what uh, you cannot join guild fight you are not in any guild okay this is what it needs to be shown and and uh, if it is in the guild okay so let's say we found some another name over here instead of empty it means that guy is in the guild so uh, we will transport him into the guild fight okay uh, but only when uh, the guild fight is having start over here so if uh, this say uh, let me go here and add one more uh, thing uh, level exit okay and we are going to say here jump to level exit so we check out for this uh, accounts that if our player is in the guild or not if it is the empty guild we are going to say you are not in any guild you cannot join the fight if it is in the guild then we are going to go and check out uh, does this uh, castle fight is started or not so we are going to go and need the table name and uh, we are going to go and need the select where okay so we will get that here now let's just get the, all these things again and here we are going to say table name is server info so we will change that accounts to server info all right then we are going to go and check into the castle fight okay and this will be like same for everybody so that is why we are using this same thing so 16 17 and uh, now we need a where condition so uh, we need to add one more structure over here uh, we need to add one more one more thing over here uh, let me go and add that structure let's go apply uh, let's add here like our info uh, let's just delete that and uh, it should be text and we'll do it save oh no 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 don't save don't save okay okay okay, 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 okay. 
Uh, let's just delete that and we will uh, do that again. Uh, let's go and add the as info. It should be the variable character and it should be the unique. Yep, and we'll do it save. Uh, let's just add to the 16. Okay. And now we will go into the uh, here and uh, let's just uh, move this to the top. Uh, yeah, move column to the top okay then let's type server okay okay and here we are going to go and add uh, 17 then we need 18 over here uh, let's go add as a 18 and here we are going to say server Oh, I think we don't need this actually. Uh, we just need this uh, castle fight is equals to start. So we just need here start. No, no, we need uh, we need the server. Need the server, and here we need s info. So go into this server info table. Go into the column s info where this is the okay so we need 16 17 and now we need 18 so that way we will able to get the data that we are going to get and once we get this we are going to get that data into this 15th variable where we are going to say you know what uh what we need castle fight so we'll need here castle fight that is the variable that we are going to check and we will see here something database castle fight okay and now we need variable to store that data so let's go add one more variable into the database Uh, let's go add over here database a sulfite start or stop something like that let's just for understanding 39 is the variable okay so we are going to get this data into the variable 39 and it should be dcf Okay, DCF. Okay, and we will get that data over here. Uh, after that, we need to give it over here. Break. Okay, and now uh, we need to compare this that it is start or something like that. So that's why we need to add these variables here again. Okay, compare variable. And then we are going to change that compare variable uh, to start. And then we are going to say we are going to say that 39 that we just received from database is equal to the compare variable 60 that we are saying it is the start 
it means if it is start then we can go and do battle but if it is not start then we are going to show the message please come back when guild fight is about to start start okay uh, that is where we are going to tell him and then it will exit him okay but let's say uh, this castle fight is started uh, it means we got the start as a start then we are going to teleport him to the area so we will show him message before we teleport him uh, castle fight it started started wish you luck okay and then we are going to teleport him uh, to the area so let me go and make uh, the new area uh, for this castle fight mm, what we need let's make the outside world again and uh, so this is the first uh, area where a player will fight the okay then Uh, I will just create couple of fights and then we will get the you know like a castle something like that we'll see that how to do the three one two okay so okay so we will be transported uh, to somewhere over here let's say this is the first monster and once you defeat him uh, you will go to the next one something like that and then we will be having last one is the boss battle something uh, i would like to say so let's go with this dog as a first monster okay we will add some intense music over here that is the different story but just for the sake of the uh, sake of this video we'll do something here to show you guys so this is the second then this is the third you can actually make you know like actual uh, different different rooms and all the stuff yeah that will be the cool idea and zombies and then why not this werewolves kind of thing and last battle will be like with the nine tail boss okay and then you will able to win the castle or something like that uh, in in between those times okay that is what going to happen so we are going to go and teleport our player to that dog fight first so uh, where it is the thing okay wish you very luck and then we are going to transfer the player uh, where is the player transfer the player to this dog fight okay and then we are going to make him look up we we'll just transfer him a little bit down over there and uh, now let's go and check it out if it is working or not we are going to call the common event castle fight check uh, condition call common event okay uh, let's go and play the game so in the start we are going to make it like castle fight it stopped not uh, nobody is going to fight so that is what we are going to make i want to say let me turn off the sound it's kind of loud one two three okay so we have logged in now and uh, if i go and talk here uh, i will able to see my server time which is my current date time we are able to see and i will go here and say you know what i want to do the castle fight 
so this will show me please come back when castle fight is about to start because right now i am in the guild uh, this guy is literally in the guild uh, if i go here and show you that look at that so let's remove him from the guild for now and let's make it like the empty and we'll go and try to talk with him again oh you cannot join the fight because you are not in any guild okay and now i will just give him back his name dragon build something like that okay uh now we are going to go and uh let this fight start so today is let's say friday 7 a.m guild fight started and everybody having chance up to 7 30 to go inside of castle fight and do some fighting okay so we will go here and so castle fight started started wish you the luck so oh, I need to go and do some spelling mistakes and we are here to do the castle fight okay so everything is working nicely so let's just uh, do this wish you luck okay and uh, now what we are going to do uh, when we are going to fight we are going to check that uh, this is started or ended something like that so if it is having the end message we are going to kick out the player from this fight okay and after that uh, if uh, player win the fight we are going to check if the castle is taken by someone else or not okay so that is what gonna happen so we are going to give the name uh, to this map as a castle one okay and we are going to make another castle also uh, you can actually make couple of more castle according to your city and then uh, every city is having this best guy and he will check uh, the condition if map id is something like that like let's say first town second town and if map id is uh, one then you will transfer him to castle one if map id is two then you will transfer him to castle two something like that okay so you are so i will just make the one castle but you guys can make many more castles to be let other guilds have also the castles okay so let's say if you are having 10 cities you can make the 10 castles and if then you are having thousands of players at least 10 people know that they have castles so 100 people are enjoying the castles okay that is got gonna happen so this is we are going to say castle one fight area okay and then we are going to make the castle one also uh, that we will be doing in the next video and we will be uh, doing this castle fight first in the next video and then we are going to make sure that if the any guild is having castle loan we are going to transfer them to the castle and they can get the more benefit something like that gonna happen so uh, this is for this video guys if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button share to my channel subscribe to it and i will see you in the next video